Hey guys, so it's time to go ahead and pick the winner of the first of our March Giveaway Madness contests. And we got to 710 really quickly, so thank you to everyone who shared, to all the new subscribers, and all the participants. And of course, a huge thank you to Horticultural Lighting Group again for providing these QB boards for these giveaways. Definitely go check them out on Instagram, on YouTube, and their website for great boards for DIY LEDs and already put together kits. So I'm going to go ahead and use my newest iteration of the spectroscope. So you can see here we have a really thin slit made with a piece of parchment paper. And I made the case out of this Tupperware-like container that I spray painted black with this uh, textured type of paint. And on the inside, I got one of these pads of felt on sticky paper and just stuck that onto the wall that is most likely to interfere with the reflection. So the one that's uh, the camera is facing towards, basically. And the spectroscope itself is on Velcro, so I can adjust it and, you know, fiddle around with it that way. So let's go ahead and calibrate this and make the measurement and find out who are the winners. All right, let's go ahead and measure the emission spectrum of this 3000 Kelvin QB120. So of course, first thing we want to do is calibrate the position in terms of nanometers with the CFL. So you can see that that's still spot on. As long as you're not messing with your spectroscope, that shouldn't really change because it's dependent on the position of the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the CFL and turn on the LED board. And if we measure it directly, you can see that A, we get too much intensity. We get all these lines for the rows of the LEDs. And also you can see some uh, grading pattern there. So you're reflecting off of the wall. So we can try using the diffuser. And that of course will smooth everything out. But also work works really well is just bouncing it off of a white wall that I have right next to the light here. And that's, you can see there. And I seem to get better measurements in terms of the relative intensities of the blue to the orange peaks if I do it this way. So this is going to be our official value, quite steady there at 587 nanometers is our peak intensity. So let's go ahead and see who got the closest. I put in all of the entries, last one being Amazing Garcia who just got in barely in the nick of time. And I made this little template, so let's enter in the value that we measured which was 587. Here I'm going to calculate the difference between that and the number you, you guys picked. And so we don't get any negative values, I'm going to use an absolute value. And we're going to do the measured minus the picked. And to make things easier, we're going to put a couple of dollar signs here to lock that value in. And there we go. Should be able to drag this all the way down. And let's just check 620 minus 33. Okay, that's right. Let's just use another function to figure out who is first place. And we can use the min or the small function. And our array is this difference column. And we want the lowest small value. And we'll go ahead and whoops, go ahead and repeat that for second and third. And of course, this box shifted down, and we want the second now. Twenty-one off, and third place. Is twenty-two off, so twelve. Looks like Matthew Patton got first place. I think we can get Excel to determine that for us. So 
think we can use, um, let's see, what is it, index function? Yeah, I think that's right. So the array that we wanted to index are the names. And then we can stick in a match function inside of this. And that's going to look up where this value is in our array of names. So we want to look up value D3 and look up array difference. Match type, we want zero for exact match. Let's see if that works. Oh, we forgot a parenthesis. Oh, there you go. And we should be able to copy that over and without any issue, it's found our second place to be Robert Holt with 21 off. Down here. And Nikki with 22 off. Congratulations to the winners. It was definitely interesting the way it randomized it with the spectrometer being a bit off and who knew what direction. I intentionally didn't measure it until now to not be biased by it. All right, so let's take a look at the data in a bit more detail and compare it to other spectra for these LED chips. So I don't know if you guys found the spec sheet from Samsung that themselves for these 561C diodes, but they have the spectra measure two, and we have that here in black for the 3000 Kelvin. And we can compare that to HLG's data here in blue and you can see it's pretty good fit and there's the one from my spectroscope and you can see the blue peak here is quite consistent and even the relative intensity is pretty close and we're pretty good throughout the green region we might actually have a little bit more resolution than the samsung measurement but of course our Orange intensity here is a bit blue shifted to the left and the HLG intensity is a bit red shifted to the right relative to Samsung's data. And then we can also compare it to McCree's original PAR data and you can see it's a pretty good fit throughout. They recently came out with I think a 660 nanometer deep red strip that probably could fill in this gap here. And of course, if you got a blue one, you could probably make up some of the difference here as well. But otherwise, I'd say it's a really good fit already. All right, there you go, guys. So that's going to do it for this first giveaway. If Matthew Patton can go ahead and put which prize they want down in the comments as soon as possible, that'd be great. And then Robert Hall can pick out of the remaining two. And Nikki will get the leftover one. So we're going to start the second giveaway right away. I think that video will probably come out tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned to that. Make sure to share and subscribe and keep an eye out for the second giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep on growing.